Hello, in this video I'm going to think a little bit more about the reciprocal function y equals k over x, where k is constant, uh, particularly in, rela in relation to one or two examples. Um, so, for example, if we are given, um, if we are given, uh, let's say, y, oh, my pen tool is um, acting up here, y equals um, 2 over x, and uh, let's say we are given a second function y equals y equals um, 4 over x right and basically we have to uh, sketch this uh, pair of graphs here um, so I mean one one way to do it firstly well firstly uh, the thing to, to, to understand one should be able to discern right right at the out, uh, uh, at the start and from the outset is that um, we have a type we have type 1 graphs here right which are going to be in the first and third quadrant uh, and uh, we'll, we'll certainly see that when we actually sketch this graph this is type 1 uh, and to see what's going on one could create a table of values I mean, if you if you really wanted to it's not necessary if you just want to sketch the graph and maybe I'll sh show why in a, in a second example so let's just say let's just uh, create a table of values for the sake of, of this example um, we only need a couple, we don't need anything too comprehensive to get a sense of what's going on here. Uh, so we'll just say negative 2, negative 1, 1 and 2. And so when x is negative 2, uh, we'll, we just substitute this value of x into our function, 2 over x, uh, and we're going to end up with negative 1. Uh, when uh, x is negative 1, we substitute it into this function, we are going to get negative 2. Likewise, when x is 1, substitute it in, we're going to get 2, and then when x is 2, we substitute in, we're going to get 1. So we can plot this graph. And actually, I'm going to need a little bit more room for the second function. I can see uh, I'm going to have y values up to 4, it looks like. So I'm going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1, 2, 3, 4. So negative 4, and I'll just label all the points. Um, and we're only going to 2, so let's just say 1, 2, like that. Of course, that's the x-axis, and that's the y-axis. Probably don't need to label it, but it's a good habit, I suppose. And so we've got negative 2 now. Um, right, so we can plot this. Uh, I'll just plot it in white. So when x is negative 2, y is negative 1. So we've got a point right there. When x is negative 1, y is negative 2, we've got a point right there. Uh, when x is 1, y is 2, we've got a point right there. And when x is 2, y is 1, we've got a point right there. And knowing this graph already, we can sketch it. We know it's going to tend to 0, the y. Uh, and as x gets increasingly positive and large, it's going to tend towards 0. So we just need a sketch, and that's it. That's a good enough sketch. And likewise, you can fill it in here. And as I said, it's a type 1. Uh, when it comes to this reciprocal function, that means that we're going, our, our graph is going to be in the first and third quadrant. Um, now, for y equals 4 over x, the, I suppose that the main thing to discern here is that y, how is, how is uh, y going to position itself, the graph of the function y equals 4 over x? Or x, how's that going to position it itself uh, relative to the function y equals 2 over x? Well, y equals 4 over x is going to be larger, right? Because uh, this is type 1, so when x is greater than 0, uh, uh, 4 over x is going to be greater than 2 over x uh, because, well, quite simply, 4 is greater than 2. So, uh, the function, and if I just write that here, y equals 4 over x, is going to sit on top, or, or in the third quadrant, it's actually going to be below, but on the first quadrant, it's going to sit on top. Uh, and so let's just plot the points. Uh, so we can discern that without even having to plot points, but let's just go through the motions here. Um, so uh, when x is negative 2, we just uh, substitute this into our our, our equation 4 over negative 2 is negative is is negative 2 
Uh, likewise, 4 over negative 1, that's just negative 4. And 4 over 1 is 4, and 4 over 2 is 2. And I'll plot this in red, just make a note here, that's the plot, uh, and it's going to be plotted in red. So, uh, when x is negative 2, y is negative 2. So negative 2, negative 2. You can already see that in this case it's below. Uh, and uh, when it's neg uh, x is negative 1, y is negative 4, so something like that. And uh, in the first quadrant, when x is 1, y is 4. So yeah, you can see it's right. It's uh, situated on top. And when x is 2, y is 2, just like this. And knowing how this function behaves generally, we know it's going to look something like that. And likewise, down here, it's going to look something like that. So if one just needs to sketch a graph like this of a function, and generally we consider it generally y equals k over x, uh, just identify quickly uh, what type it is. Uh, if it's type 1 or type 2, that tells us, okay, we've got, in this case, type 1, it's going to be first, third quadrant. And from there, if we if we have multiple, if we have uh, uh, pairs of graphs and uh, multiple functions, and we're trying to uh, discern uh, how they're positioned relative to each other, well, we just can look and say, okay, well, in this case, x is for x is greater than 0. Whoops, uh, just a notification popped up. Um, for when x is greater than 0, 4 over x is going to be greater than 2 over x, which is to say that 4 over x, in the case of the first quadrant, is going to sit on top, and in the third quadrant, it's going to be below. Um, but what if we are given something a little bit more complicated. Well, I don't know if it's much, much more complicated, but let's say it's 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 just a little different where if, uh, it's y equals negative 3 over x and let's, let's take another equation here. Let's say it's y equals, yeah, uh, negative 8 over x. Well, again, like instead of instead of having, if, if we just want to sketch this, we don't need to hone in on any particular points, we just looking at a sketch, well, we can say this is type 2, clearly, because it's negative, right? Type 2 is when uh, k is less than 0, uh, and so we know that, um, in this case, x is less than 0, and for when x is less than 0, uh, negative 8 over x is going to be uh, greater than uh, negative 3 over x which is to say that this is going to be on top, negative 8 over x is going to be on top. Um, and in that sense, we can already sketch this because we know the general form that an equation of y equals k over x is going to be, and we know that this is negative, it's type 2, so we're going to have, um, if we just want a very, very quick sketch, where we don't have to label points or anything, we can, we can already say, well, okay, a negative 3 over x, going to look something like this, our graph, whoops, it's going to be in the second and fourth quadrant, so it's going to be something like that, and in the fourth quadrant, it's going to be something like this, and uh, of course, if I just denote, and maybe I'll write that, that this is y equals negative 3 over x, and I'll use uh, magenta here, and say that uh, y equals 8 over x is going to be on top, this is how they are going to positioned relative to one another at the bottom down here and purples y equal y equals negative 8 over x and of course one could create a table of values for both of these and plot the points as we did in the first example and you would see that this is indeed how they would sit relative to one another and that gives us a clear sense of sort of what's going on here and uh, yeah uh, in general the reciprocal function the graph of the reciprocal function y equals k over x is, is pretty cool.